Hello everyone, again this is Jian Peng and in today's instruction I am going to show you how to perform the last lab of this summer session reflection and refraction of light uh, just as usual go to the simulation website click on run now and it will start the simulation Okay, this, when you start up, this is the default uh, web interface. Uh, if you reset all, it's exactly the same. So, <clears throat> as you can see here, on the top half, the material is air. and the bottom half, the material is water. The air has an index of refra refraction of 1.0, while the water has an index of refraction being 1.33. And you also have two tools here. One is a uh, ref protractor, and the other is the uh, light intensity meter. Okay, when you click on the power button on the laser, uh, you're going to see the laser ray right here. Uh, this is the interface between the air and water. As you can see, the light from the source to the interface this ray we have a special name we call it um, incident ray now this light very slight color ray here that is the reflected ray remember here the reflected ray and the incident ray they're both in the air on the other hand here you see another ray here this ray is called refracted ray the reason being is, if you see here, the, at the interface, the light appears bending, right? Not in a straight line any longer. If it's straight line, it should go this way. Then this is called uh, <coughs> refracted ray. Now, there are also three angles that are very, very important. This line here, perpendicular to the interface, we call it the line of normal or just normal. And if you grab a toolbox, grab the protractor here, remember where you put the zero here. Now, uh, the angle from the normal line to the incident ray, this angle, is called angle of incidence. So in this case we have 30 40, 45 degrees is our angle of incidence. Now this is the reflected ray. Then again, the angle between the normal line and the reflected ray, this angle right here, is called angle of reflection. And same story at the bottom here, between the normal line, see, normal line is always zero degrees. Okay, between this angle and the Refle refracted light, this angle is called angle of refraction. And then you can move your laser light to to make sure the light comes into a different angles. Um, the first I showed up is 15 degrees, so I'm going to put my incident light to be 15 degrees. That's 10, so that's 15. There's another tool here, it's called a uh, light intensity meter. You can grab it here. Then this part is the light intensity sensor so you can put and put it into the light and it measures its intensity so I put it as a reflection here so reflected light in this case the intensity is 2.26 if I grab it down here and measure the refracted rate the intensity will be 97.74 percent okay so I have basically explain to you how to perform the step five of the lab and I have in the lab write up I have shown the angle of reflection, angle of refraction, intensity of reflected light and intensity of refracted light. So what you are going to do is you are going to move this to 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees and 70 degrees and measure all the three angles, all the 
two angles and the two intensities and answer the questions here. In step number six, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to change the material at the bottom. Right now it's water. What you're going to do is going to change to glass. And notice that glass has an index of refraction of 1.5. It's higher than the water. So again, perform uh, same stuff from 15 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60, and 75. Uh, that's step six. Now, in step seven, what you are going to, uh, going to do is actually change the two types of medium. So here it's air. Now instead of air, you actually change the top to be top half to be water, and change the bottom half to be air. So in this case, this step it's exactly the opposite of step five. So again, move it back to 15 degrees. Uh, that's 20, that's 15 degrees. And you can see there's a reflected light and then the refracted light. And again, measure the different angles uh, and measure the intensity. And uh, <coughs> in this particular case, you are going to see a phenomenon called total internal reflection. As I move the laser source, and you see the refracted light right there. At a certain degrees, this reflected comes to then disappears. So now you have only reflected light. So this is called total internal reflection. Now the intensity will be 100% because all the light is reflected. No more refraction. Again, um, fill in the uh, data table in step 7 and answer all the questions. I think that's all I need to cover for this particular lab. Thank you.